everybody, this is Chris at Zenark Reptiles. Thank you for joining me once again. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are staying safe. And hopefully this will go away soon and we can all get back to a normal life. Um, anyways guys, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. What that notification bell does for you is keeps you in the loop of all my upcoming videos. So anything new that comes out, um, you'll get a notification saying, hey, I got a video out. Also, just a heads up, I do release videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And also, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, and what that like button does for me is it helps you with my YouTube endeavors, and it's just a way of saying thank you if you guys enjoy anything of my videos or actually get something from it. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about starting projects. So if you're doing breeding projects, um, I'm gonna kind of help you give a breakdown of what you need to do, what, you know, how does it work, um, how much it costs, kind of, and um, how much time it's gonna take. I'm just gonna give you a little breakdown of some of the things that I do when I start a project. So when I first start a project, um, I think about the cost, um, how many snakes I'm gonna need. So like, if it's gonna be a harder snake to hit, if it's a combination that's really hard to hit, I might have more females than um, say something that's really easy. So something like say a, a GHI Mojave, I will have less females because that's pretty easy to hit. If something that's gonna be a lot harder, um, I'll probably at least have three females, maybe even more, depends on what my odds are of hitting that combination and how fast I want to hit it. Another thing is, is also depends on how much money. Um, so if you're starting a project, it depends on how much money you have to start up. Obviously, if you have more money, you can get a snake that's farther along. Um, if you have less money, you might start from scratch and uh, maybe heads or, you know, so you want to do a Mojave GHI. Well, if you have a lot more money, you could probably buy, you know, you could buy like a super Mojave or, you know, something like that and it would really help you along. But if you know you have less money, you might just want to buy a Mojave and a GHI. Even though that your chances are lower, the money you have is what you have and that's what you have to start with. So let's talk about something that's easy and that's very common. Let's talk about a Blue-Eyed Lucy. Personally, I would use a Mojave and a Lesser. And the reason why I say that is it gives you a really nice pure white um, snake and a lot of times like super lessers and super butters they can get bug-eyed and sometimes they grow into them but I've actually seen ones that never grew into them and they just look kind of weird um, so personally that's my personal opinion I would use a lesser and a Mojave to make this On a side note, these are really easy snakes to, to sell. So if you're just starting out and you wanna make some extra money to buy racks and you wanna buy um, more snakes, um, these are really easy combination to get into and they sell amazing. When you go to shows, I've done a few shows and I've sold snakes there. Anybody that sees a pure white snake gets all excited. Um, it's like one of your top things because not, not, this is not really gonna sell to your breeders, but your people that want a pet, um, they love that white snake. Also, um, I have to say that Pied sells really good and also uh, anything with banana. People want a snake that looks really pretty that they can show their friends and pull it out when they come over. And they're at a good price point and they just fly. Even if you look at Morph Market right now, um, I think they're all gone because they just do very, very well. Okay, now there's the cheapest way and there's more expensive ways to reach this combination. Uh, the cheapest way obviously is just to buy a Lesser and a Mojave. Um, the Mojave is going to run you about 100 bucks or less, and the le the lesser is going to cost you about 120 to 100 bucks. Um, easy to get. You can actually get them in sub adults, real easy, real cheap, and you breed them. So let's check out what you get if you just bred those two together. As you can see, you still have decent amount of chance. I mean, if you breed one together, you have a very likelihood of getting at least one. Um, but now if you say, had a little more money, this is personally how I would probably do it, is have a couple uh, lesser females, and then I would add in a Super Mojave. Super Mojave's are really easy to get. There's tons of them on Morph Market, and they're not that expensive. Um, the lesser, Super Lesser is a little bit harder to find, and I just think it's, if I was just doing it, you have a pretty good chance, a 50-50 chance, if you're doing the Super Mojave. So 
So that was pretty easy to do. You can get that really quick. I mean, that's something that you can start out with and it's a really fast combination and also it's a great selling combination. Let's talk about custom combos. That's kind of where that stage where I am, I'm doing custom combos and custom combos can be hard or easy, depends on which way you wanna go. Let's talk about something that's pretty easy to get to, um, but not super easy. Once you start adding recessives into it, it changes the whole game, it's a game changer. It's a lot harder to get. Um, I'm not gonna make a big video about how hard it is to breed recessives, because so, there is so many out there and you can just take 10 minutes online and you can find all the stuff about recessives. So let's say we're gonna make a bamboo clown. Now, um, it's real easy to find clowns online. You can find head clowns or visual clowns. Now, it depends on how much money you have again. Only you know how much you have to start. Um, obviously, if you wanna go right ahead, you can actually buy you some visual clowns and a visual male uh, bamboo. Um, you will we'll notice though, that it's, if you go on like Morph Market, it's harder to find these jeans together. Once you start getting these custom combos, it's harder to find. Like if I look for a uh, Mojave or I look for a Lesser, obviously there's, there's hundreds of them online, but when I start looking for these custom combos, I look today for a, uh, a bamboo clown and I saw about nine, 10 of them online. So they're harder to find. Once you get down this road, it's hard to find compatible combos for your projects. Let's talk about the, the cheapest way of doing this. So I take three het females and I breed them to one het male that has bamboo. Now, as you can see that your chances are very slim, you, you will hit it eventually, but it's gonna be less likely. But then again, if this is what the money you have, and this is how much startup you have, this is what you gotta do. Um, there's no shame in that. Everybody starts at a certain point and everybody has a different um, budget. Now, me personally, if I was gonna do it, um, I have a video out that shows about hits. I'm a hat guy. There's people that like to do visuals. I just find for the bang for your buck, you get more out of hats. Now, I do always use visual males. I mean, I have three het clown girls, and I'm gonna breed them to a, a bamboo visual male. As you can see, your chances of are doubled, and you have a pretty good chance of hitting it. You're gonna at least have a 25% chance. Now, you know, you can go all out, say you have lots of money to blow, and you can actually find them, and you spent time in family snakes, you can get three visual, you know, again, three visual clowns, uh, girls, and get the male, and you have, you're gonna have nothing but clowns, and you have a 50% chance of having the clown bamboo. Now, when you start getting to these more crazy combos, it's really hard to find compatible snakes. And that's the issue that I find. Like right now, one of the combinations that I am working on personally is a Pied Ultra Male Orange Dream. Now, when I'm looking online and I'm trying to find this snake, I found a Het Pied with an Orange Dream. I found Pied with Orange Dream. I found Ultra Male with Orange Dream. I found Pied and Ultra Male. I found Pied and Het Ultra Male but I've never found the ones that I'm looking for all together. So that's what's gonna happen when you start building these custom combos. You're gonna either have to look a lot and search and hope that you find it, or you're gonna have to start breeding your own snakes to make your combo. And what, this is what I've been doing with this, this combination is I've been breeding for a while and I'm, I'm, I'm about there, but it's took me a while. And I mean, there's people a lot farther along than me but it's kind of showing you that it's gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of commitment to get a lot of these combinations. Um, if you look at something like Justin Gaboka, he spent many of years to get these snakes. Um, 
some of these are crazy, but he spent many, about 20, about 20 years breeding these snakes to get to these crazy combos. And I mean, you can take a shortcut and buy one of these snakes, say drop $10,000, $12,000 for these snakes because people like him have spent this time making these combinations. But when you start adding all these combinations in here, you will notice that it's really hard to find and that's the big dilemma. So I kind of hope this helps out guys. I'm just trying to show you some of these things. When you get down the road, you're gonna eventually have to uh, start making your own combinations. If, if this is something you wanna do and you wanna make a certain combination, this is like, you wanna, I wanna try this and I think this will work out really good. Or, you know, I've seen this before and I really wanna make the snake. You're gonna have to start um, taking some time in, in making your combinations and start breeding up the females and males that you need for these ones. So great about ball pythons is that it's a great hobby. Um, it can be a great business. It depends on how, you know, if you want to, but most people want to do this for a hobby and it's a great hobby and it's, 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 it's a great feeling when you start hitting these combinations that you spent half your, you know, three or four years doing. So anyways, guys, I hope that really helps out. Hope that motivates you. I hope that kind of, uh, you know, gives you an idea that this is not going to be easy. It's not going to be cheap. And it just depends on if the, the cheaper you go, the longer it's gonna take, um, the more you spend, the shorter it's gonna take, but also, you know, the patience, um, looking for the right combinations that's gonna be compatible for your breeding projects. Um, that's what it is. Also, by the way, guys, I'm, I'm about to hit a uh, 100 videos and also about 500 subscribers. I plan on doing something special on my 100th video. I'll do a giveaway of some kind. I'm thinking about doing Amazon card and maybe some other small prizes. Just to say thank you for all you guys of uh, watching my videos and being part of my life. Uh, anyways, guys, if you wouldn't mind, check out some of these other videos right here. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Anyways, guys, stay home. Uh, stay safe. Love you guys. Later. Peace.